Hey, this is the Krillcast. I am Karel. So very glad you are joining me in my happy place. Uh, I hope you all have a happy place. I really do. I hope, sorry about that. I hope there's a place in your home uh, where you can go and just be happy. And in my Chase Lounge with Ember right here next to me is my happy place. And I think we all need to be in one today. Uh, I've had several conversations throughout the day that were not pleasant, were not good, uh, because a lot of my friends, like a lot of your friends, uh, are in trouble right now, uh, psychologically, uh, financially, all kinds of ways. And I don't know what we're going to do as everything keeps coming at us at the speed of sound. Now, for a piece of really good business today, uh my polycythemia, which let me let me just school you on polycythemia. That is a condition that can be caused by other conditions or it can be cancer. If it's cancer, it's called primary polycythemia. If it's caused by other things, it's called secondary polycythemia. And it can go away if it's secondary. So they did a gene test on me, very blessed to have access to such technology. Uh, and they did a gene test on me to see if I had the JAK2 mutation, which appears in this cancer uh, and in others. That test came back today negative. I do not have the JAK2 mutation, uh, which is a marker they use for this cancer and others. And I don't have it. So, mwah, thank you, universe. Uh, whatever the polycythemia is, we will get it under control. It is almost under control now. My blood, la my labs are returning to normal. They don't even want to test it for another month. So, good on everybody. Uh, that's great news. Now, you know, I have a friend, Mark. Uh, 30 plus years, I, I think of Mark... You know, we were never uber close back in the day. Our friend, our, 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 we were in a circle. And like he was closer with maybe Thea or Karen or uh, the girls, the ladies. He's a straight guy riding a motorcycle back in the day and not homophobic at all. Uh, but, you know, it, it, it didn't have a lot in common uh, back in those days with me and my lifestyle. Uh, so we were friends, but not like, we've gotten to be closer here in Vegas. And he's one of the sweetest, kindest, uh, sweetest souls that uh, I've ever encountered in a, in a straight man. And, and I mean that. Tyler, uh, Mark, I'm, I'm so blessed to have straight men in my life that have very gay sensibilities, that have kind souls, are not afraid to be kind to each other or to animals or to other people. Uh, who are enlightened and, you know, read the news and get the same thing out of it I do, uh, who aren't afraid to ask questions, who, who aren't so stubborn that they can't give in. A lot of great, wonderful straight people I know, DW and just so many, uh, so many, Brandon Crespo and uh, uh, maybe Daniel Johnson. Uh, <laughs> uh, just a lot of great, uh, well, I don't know. They're, I don't know if any of them have ever slept with men or whatever. I'm just saying, you know, let, let's, let's just remove the word straight men and just say I have a lot of great, great men and women in my life. Uh, and Mark Keene is one of them. Uh, and I wish him nothing but happiness and another job. He just lost his job. Bad time to lose a job, especially in the entertainment industry. Uh, but, you know, he's trying to navigate his way. He had a tenant that wasn't paying rent for months and months and months, like some of you might have that severely cut into things, you know, aging issues. His mother is still alive, which means she's older and aging. You know, all of these things that can weigh on you. His, his cat, you know, had some issues, but it's better now. Thank goodness. Nothing. You can't have a sick pussy. So he's not the only one. Tyler is off starting a new job. My friend Tyler, who's a pilot. He's going to be doing a lot of government work. The air charter place he works with, he's going to fly the remains of soldiers uh, and other things. I mean, lots of, they do lots of government work. Uh, so that's exciting. And so, but he's had to move away from his family and at a time of a pandemic. And so he's got heavy issues on his mind. And so I think a lot of us, uh, a lot of us have issues right now. 
And I think that we're not learning properly how to deal with them. And we don't take into account that humans are not meant to deal with things at the speed of sound. We need time to to let it sink in, to adapt, to, you know, to, to feel it through. We have emotions. You know, today, President Biden spoke about climate change. And again, he echoed the code red. So today, our president yelled, not yelled at us, but basically yelled at us, code red. You know, and add that to the Delta variant, to MU variant, to the ridiculous going on in California, just ridiculousness that Larry Elder would ever be considered to be a serious candidate for governor, not because he's a talk show host, okay? I'm a talk show host, I'd make a great governor, but because he's an idiot who's wrong about everything. He's a misogynist, he's racist, he's homophobic, he's, you know, he's a turncoat. He supported Trump until, you know, he didn't. and. He's he's not a good man. He's not a good person. And the fact that people can't see that, it's like, how can you not see he's a charlatan, snake oil salesman? You know, this morning I thought, what would your platform be? Two talk show hosts have now run in, you know, one, one, meaning Trump. So what would my platform be? Well, local things. Like today here in Nevada, it's 106 degrees outside right now. And we get a flex your power thing from Nevada Energy saying conserve power. And I said, screw you. Screw you, power company. The sun gives us a thousand times a day more power than we could use in 10 years. And you're going to tell me I got to conserve when I need it most? Why? Because your corporate overlords have not built enough power generation plant. We are in Nevada where there is nothing but sunshine. We not only should we never have a flex your power alert here, we should supply power to the rest of the country. We've got the power. We got geothermal. We got solar. We got wind. We have so much ways to generate power here, child. We're a snap song. Hey. But do we? No. And whose fault is that? Ain't mine. Maybe if we had the $300 billion a year in tax revenue that the rich are now not paying, we found out. $300 billion a year in tax revenue that the rich aren't paying. And if we tax churches, we would bring in another six to $700 billion a year, meaning a trillion dollars a year in revenue for just taxing two entities that need to be taxed. Oh, but that's controversy. So what would my platform be? Well, I would insist that the power company build out their grid so there is never a need for power. Hoover Dam is 41 miles away from me. We got nothing but sun. And you're going to tell me on a 106 degree day that I got to conserve power because people are using the air conditioners? The hell's wrong with you, Nevada Energy? And that's what I would say if I were running for governor of the state of Nevada. What the hell is wrong with Nevada Energy? Trying to act like we need to flex our power. You need to flex some power, honey. You need to get the power generating. Ain't no reason to make me conserve. Why the hell should I conserve energy when the sun gives us more than we need every single day? Harness it, baby. Oh, conserve energy. Please, calm the hell down. What would my platform be? Well, what would your platform be on the homeless? Oh, how many of you have been homeless? Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you've ever been truly homeless on the street, living in your car, and or eating out of a McDonald's dumpster. dumpster. Call you, raise your hand. See how mine's raised? Because I've done both those things, honey. I slept in a car for almost a year and then ate out of McDonald's dumpsters because they dump all their fresh food every 10 minutes. Don't you tell me about how to solve the homeless crisis until you ban homeless. How many homeless people you talk to? Do you know David and Bear over at the park? Because I do, I talk to them every day. How about Robert William Tate? You ever talk to him? One eye, gray hair, called Red. Bet you never talked to him. I bet you don't know the names of any homeless people in your area. I know the names of 10, 10 homeless people in my area. And I have talked to them at length. And I will tell you how to solve the homeless freaking crisis, honey. How do we solve the homeless crisis? Oh, it's easy. It's easy. But we ain't got the will or the guts. We ain't got the guts to do most of what we need to do. We, we literally 
do not have the guts. Because like, like, okay, what is your platform, Corell, about COVID and anti-maskers? Jail them. What? Jail them. If you don't want to take a vaccine, any police or fire that don't want the vaccine, fire them. Any nursing staff or doctors that don't want the vaccine, fire them. Oh, but we'll have a shortage. Oh, well, we'll have a shortage. At least the idiots will learn a lesson. Instead, in Portland today, they announced that since their police union was upset, that they were going to mandate that police, police, who will come up on your ass, okay? Police will pull you over and come up to your car without you asking to meet them. They ain't got to be vaccinated now. Really? Fire their asses. Tell the union they're getting vaccinated or they're getting fired. I, you see, this is my platform. My platform is to actually do something about something. What would your platform be on water in the West, Corral? Get them some. Start building desalinization plants today. Start a pipeline from the Great Lakes to the top of the Colorado River today. Both of those things are filling up the Great Lakes and the oceans, and we need water in the West. Get them water. Screw Elon Musk tunnels. Any tunnel drilled should have water flowing through it. What would your platform be on the homeless? Round them up. What? Round them up. Take them off the streets into triage centers. And in this triage center, you are met with mental health professionals, social workers, all in one day. And if it's too overwhelming for you, then you're mentally ill and you will go off with the mentally ill. You will either be medicated or not, but if you're not, you will have to stay in some sort of facility, camp, whatever, set up for mentally ill homeless people because they can't just be roaming the streets. Number two, if you're just homeless because you're poor, we'll give you all the resources you need, a place to stay, transitional housing, job assistance, education, all of it will be provided for you, just like it would be for any person, any constituent of mine. We'd have all access to all that anyway. So now we would give the access to the homeless people too. Education, health care, a place to sleep, because having a home is a right. Having a place to sleep safely is a right. Having food is a human right. I'd make sure they're fed. I'd make sure they had a house. Now, what about the chronically ill or the chronic homeless who just want to be homeless? Okay, that's fine too. They just can't do it in the city. Homeless, if you want to camp, if you want to live outdoors, that's fine. Can't do it in city limits. Go outside of city limits. And I don't care how far outside that is. In other words, well, in LA, that would be like 100 miles. Yep, all the way out of the Inland Empire, all the way out up into the mountains. You want to be homeless, you want to be, you're not going to do it in front of the local bodega because you, you don't have that right. Don't indulge these people. I have the right to be a human being anywhere I want to be. Yes, you do, but you don't have the right to live anywhere that you want to. Not when there's a city that has to function. Okay, you can't build a house on railroad tracks. So you don't have the right to live anywhere. You have a right to live somewhere, not anywhere. That's a big difference. So yes, I'd round them up. And of course, tear down all the camps. Rip down all that tent bullshit. Tear down all that garbage. Bulldoze it. Oh, it's their belongings. It's their life. Give them something better. Tear that down. Bulldoze it. Keep any mementos or belongings they may need. But as for the rest of the garbage, landfill. Why? Disease, pestilence, blight. I could go on. Would that please all the homeless advocates? I don't care. I am a homeless advocate. I've been homeless. So you know what? I want them off the streets. I want them cared for. I want them well or medicated. Or if they're in financial straits, I want them helped. The, the, but the thing I don't want is to walk my dog in the park and see them anymore at all, ever. The thing I don't want is you to have to step over them to get in or out of of, you know, a, a business or out of your million dollar condo. Well, they have a right. No, they don't. Who gave them that right? Who gave them the right to be homeless in my city? 
Who gave them that right? Well, they have a right. Who gave that to them? Because we'll revoke it. We'll take, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh away. Well, what did you do? I slept in a car. I slept behind 24-hour businesses. I slept in park, parking lots. I sl no one knew I was homeless. I did not inflict my homelessness on anybody. It's my business that I was homeless, not theirs. Well, they're not as fortunate as you. That's why we'll help them. That's why we'll triage them. That's why we'll set up FEMA camps outside of town. That's why we'll set up transitional housing. That's why we'll make sure there's affordable housing in every neighborhood so people don't become homeless. Oh, yes, I can solve it. I can solve it. Global warming, that's easy. That's My platform on that would be so easy. So easy. Well, what is it, Carell? 80% less meat by 80% of the people. Incentivize restaurants to open with only plant-based or 80% plant-based menus. Any restaurant that had an 80% plant-based menu would get a tax break, you know? Incentivize getting off the meat and dairy. And would I care that the meat and dairy industry would have a cow man? No, I don't. There's no future in the dairy industry. There shouldn't be advances being made in the dairy industry. It should be shuttered. There should be no advances made in the, in the pork or cow torture industry. It should be shuttered. Why? Global warming. It's real. What else would I do? No fossil fuel cars within five years. Not 10, not 20, not 30. Five. Oh, with a mandate that there be a $10,000 electric car. That there must be a $10,000 electric car that goes at least 200 miles, period. And give subsidies, do whatever you need to do, but make an affordable electric vehicle and completely redo public transit. Where would you get the money? From the billionaires, of course. From the billionaires. That's, they have all the money. They have 80% of the money. I would take their money. Well, they wouldn't let you. Then they could leave the country. Get out, go someplace else, or start paying your share here in America. Now, if I were running for national office, for presidency, I would put the income cap at $2 billion. Once you reach $2 billion in net worth, you're taxed at 90%. 90% above $2 billion. You get more than $2 billion, we're taking $900 million of that. We're still leaving you $100 million. So for every billion you raise, you'll get $100 million to add to your other $2 billion, which is more than you need for 100 lifetimes. Oh, but we wouldn't do that either. I would. That's my platform. My platform is wealth for all. There can be classes. Sure, there can be, you know, millionaires and even billionaires. Although a billion, it's, it's obscene to have billionaires. It's obscene that a society has billionaires. That's obscene. We shouldn't even have billionaires. There should be none. No one should be able to accumulate that much wealth. It brings about the end of society. How do I know? Science tells us. Okay. What else would my platform be? Global warming would be solved by 80% going of 80% less meat, no more fossil fuel vehicles, period, end of story, $10,000 electric car, much better public transportation, including little automated vehicles that just come and get people on an infrastructure grid. We, I'd rethink, if I were the, like taking over Nevada, every city in Nevada would just be rethought, especially Las Vegas. I would shut the strip down to any kind of traffic, period. And I would dome it. I would completely dome the Las Vegas Strip. It would climate control that way. It would conserve water that way. No more vehicular traffic inside the Strip. Public transportation. All kinds of little vehicles and monorails. Oh, yeah. It'd be domed in. Absolutely. And there'd be no traffic on the Strip. No cars. It would just all be public transportation downtown. Period. Just end of story. You come into town. Oh, I'd move McCarran Airport out of the valley. I'd move McCarran Airport to the next valley over somewhere and connect it with high-speed monorails so your luggage would still come up in here in, in McCarran and you would still come out here at McCarran. You just wouldn't land there. You'd land somewhere else and take a shuttle in 10, 15 minutes. Why? Because why have planes flying all over the valley? That's dumb. So yeah. There's a lot that the governor of Nevada could do. The mines in the north start taxing them more, get money from them. Amazon.com, Bezos, many locations here, get money from him. Oh, yeah. 
And that's why none of this change will ever happen because no one will do that. No one will run on it. No one will do it. You know? What about religion? All of it out of politics. You say God around me, you're out of my administration. That's it. What about the money from the, who cares? I would rather raise money from atheists. Truly. That's why I can't run for anything. Sorry, my allergies. I'm having an allergy attack as we speak. Just, who knows why? Uh, but I would not. I would not, you know, I wouldn't care about evangelicals or Christians or whatever. So you're crazy. Oh, and here's one. Here's one that would, the real, another reason I would never be elected. If I were elected governor of Nevada, Scientology and Catholicism would be thrown out of the state. Thrown out of the state. The Catholic Church is the largest child rape ring in the world. Proven. Not an allegation. Proven. Uh, and Scientologists are crazy. Like, literally crazy. Uh, so yeah, out. Out they would go. No Mormons either. Sorry. Out of my state. Get out. Well, what religions would you allow? The ones that don't bother me. The ones that don't try to inflict their religion on my politics. The ones that don't try to inflict their religion on my life. Yep. So I'll never be able to be president or governor. Who's going to vote for me? And who's going to vote for that platform? And in many ways, I'm really old-fashioned, too. I'm not all progressive and all of that. You know, I, I, in many ways, I'm old. Uh, and I think we could use a little of that right now. I think we've had a little too... You know, I said the other day, why are we called the left? We're right about everything. So why aren't we called the right? You know? Income equality. Here in Las Vegas, oh my God. 15 bucks an hour minimum if you work at a casino. Just period. Just $15 minimum. You know, I don't care. Oh, and women wouldn't have to wear those insulting dresses if I were governor of the state. Cocktail waitresses and cocktail servers would not have to wear, unless the men had to wear them too. For every, if, if you walked into like Caesar's Palace, and the women have these little short little things on to go be servers, then the men would have to be scantily clad too. Turn about fair play. Oh, I, you know, I'd make a great governor. I'd never be elected governor, but I'd make a great governor. You know, unlike Larry Elder. See, I'd make a great governor. Larry Elder would not make a great governor. You know, when it comes to, I, you know, what, someone's going to accuse me of being a homophobe? A racist? I say racist things, and I think it's natural to be racist. In other words... It's normal to acknowledge someone else is a different race than you. Oh, yeah, they're black. Oh, yeah, they're Chinese or whatever. It's not normal to be bigoted about them, you know, based on that. But acknowledging race is not racist. Well, it is racist, but it's not, you know, the racism they're talking about. They're really not talking about racism. They're talking about bigotry. We're all racist. How can you not notice when someone is from a different country or of a different ethnicity? Of course you notice. Well, by noticing, that's racism. You're, you're immediately noticing something about them, their race. And you do make presuppositions based on it. That's just nature. Oh, sorry, Ember. I No, 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 don't bark. I, I just hit the things. So they could be used to that by now, honey. Yes, oh, little, little barky girl. Yeah, that's why I can't run for anything. I'm too honest. I'm too honest. If I were the governor of Nevada, I said I would be like, you're all getting vaccinated. And if you're not, you're going to go live someplace where you, you're not around normal folk. You, you can, if you don't want to be vaccinated, that's fine. We have a lovely FEMA camp set up for you until it's over. Internment camps? Yeah, that's exactly what I would call it, an internment camp. You want to go be sick? Go be sick. You want to go spread germs? Go spread germs. But you're not going to do it in popular society. We'll put you out in Carson City or, you know, somewhere. We'll find housing for you, but you're not going to stay here. Or you'd be under house arrest. Until the pandemic is over, if you don't want to be vaccinated, if you don't want to wear a mask, then we put a thing on your ankle and you get to go, you know, 500 feet away from your house. And that's it. Instacart will bring you food, Grubhub, all of that. You want to be an idiot? Be an idiot. Stay home and be an idiot. Don't come out and infect us. Take off the anklet, you're going to jail. See? None of this is hard. No problem, no platform is hard. It is not hard to run a country or a state. It really isn't. Everyone acts like it's the hardest thing. No, no, no. What's hard is you won't lead. Like Joe Biden. God bless him. You know, I mean that. God bless him. But at the same time, 
You know, Texas is acting like the Taliban, and you're just saying we're going to look into options. Are you kidding me? I'd turn off all federal funding to the state, like tomorrow. No federal, well, you'd just be hurting. Yup, they'd all suffer, the good and the bad, but oh well. Either the good people elect someone that's not going to be so crazy, or move, because the bad people are ruining it for you. But we don't make anyone do that anymore. Oh, and if I were governor of Nevada, I would severely look into limiting Fox News and Newsmax and OAN distribution in my state based on uh, public health. I, they're disseminating terrible information. I would block them from my state. They can, and I would. I'd block OWN, Newsmax, uh, just like China. Absolutely. Then you're a dictator. You're damn right. We need a benevolent dictator. Humans don't do well with what we have now democracy this and blah, 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 that. We really need a democratically elected benevolent dictator. Someone who's not afraid to say, you know what? No, I don't care what blowback I get from this. This is how it needs to be. Science says it. This says it. This is the way it has to be. Not personal things. I'm talking about clear-cut issues, like the water issue. That's a clear-cut issue. Get more water to the West now. Clear-cut. Don't conserve none of that salinization plants, desalinization plants, building pipelines, whatever it might be, get water into Lake Mead within the next 12 months. That's not, you know. So I could never run. I could never run because no one wants honesty. No one wants action. You know, no one wants action. Because action requires making a decision, whether it's popular or not, and going with it. That's, that's why no one wants to govern. Oh, we're going to get blowback. Oh, and anti-mask rallies and the like? Nope, wouldn't happen. Not in my Nevada. Would not happen. At least not, I mean, they could happen. I would say, yes, you can have your rally here. You know, we gay people were told for decades where we could rally and where we couldn't. You know, it's your right to protest, but that doesn't say where you're allowed to protest, okay? So you want to protest? That's fine. Las Vegas Speedway. You can have all of your protests there. If people want to come to your protest, they can drive out to the Speedway and they can go inside your unvaccinated little haven. But you're not having your protest down the middle of the strip without a mask on. Not doing it. Nope. See? Solutions. Action. Definitive statements. No one's platform is that anymore. You know, they've been running on the same shit forever. God, guns, gays. Now COVID, global warming. They'll be talking about global warming till I die. I'm really, I mean, we've been talking about rights for women, rights for gays my entire life, still ain't got them. Rights for blacks, still ain't got them. What makes me think they're going to suddenly solve global warming quickly? They haven't solved problems of my entire life. Income inequality, my whole life. We've needed a national income since I was zero. We haven't had one. See what I'm saying? Oh, yes. If I were in federal office, if I were president, my platform would definitely be national income. Absolutely. Absolutely. You would only fall so far into abject poverty in my America. Okay? You would not. And that would get rid of so many other. We'd get rid of welfare. We'd get rid of all kinds of Social Security. We'd get rid of all of it. Because everybody would get, you know, fifteen, two thousand $2,000 a month. Period. Everybody then that gets rid of the Social Security Administration for the most part because everyone's already getting, you know. Now, if you made more, then Social Security would pay you more separately. It'd get rid of the welfare department, food stamps, it'd get rid of all of it. There'd be so much bureaucracy that's just gone. And all that money that you're saving, you give to the people. Yep. If I were, if I were governor of Nevada, I would try to do a national uh, a salary for Nevadans right here in Nevada where every Nevada citizen, all 4 million of them, got, you know, 1,500 bucks a month. Billions of dollars come through that strip every single month. 1.5 billion last month. Oh yeah, the money's there. Totally there. But no one wants that. No one wants solution. No one wants answers. No one wants a platform that would actually do something. So they'll just keep electing people who won't do much. Meanwhile, we're all finding it so hard to cope. All of my friends today, every friend I've talked to today, every single one is basically depressed. 
you know, COVID's coming back full force and all of a sudden back to lockdown, back to mask, back to this. The economy's teetering on the brink, just teetering on the brink. There's death everywhere, sickness everywhere, hospitals full everywhere. There's fires, earthquakes, there's floods, there's hurricanes. It's, people are depressed. And I don't want you to be, but maybe now is not the time to be like happy, happy, happy every day. Maybe we are in kind of the dark ages at the moment. Maybe the 2000s and 2010s are the dark ages. Bush, Trump, you know, the neoconservatives, they have ushered in the dark age. And I know it was called the dark ages for different reasons back then, but these are dark times we're living with. If these don't, if, if you know, these are the dark ages again. Now, there's plenty of light out there, but we have to let it shine. We have to open the window for the light. We have to let, open the blinds. We have to let it in. We're not letting the light in. The light is the solution. The light, when I mean that, if there is a problem, the thing that gives you hope and gives you light is the solution. And we have, like here in Nevada today, we have the solution to flex your power alerts. Build more infrastructure of energy. Why isn't it there already? Four million people are living in this state. You know it's going to get hot, and yet you don't generate enough power for them all to have air conditioner when it does? That's just stupid. You're allowing Las Vegas to grow unchecked. Houses don't have to be energy self-sufficient, and no one has to worry about water. That's just stupid. We're just doing so much stupid stuff. I'd stop. My platform would be no stupidity. If you're stupid, you're not in my administration. If you're stupid, you ain't one of my constituents. I don't want to rule with stupid people. These people that say, I want to be everybody's president. I don't. I wouldn't want to be everybody's governor. I don't want to be some governor that some maggot likes. I don't want to be your governor. You just sit back and shut up for a change. Oh, yeah. But if someone talks like that, unless they're well-funded, they're not going to get elected. If someone looks at another candidate and says, you're a lying traitor. Oh, I wish I could do a gubernatorial debate here in Nevada and be the Democratic candidate so I could just look at the Republicans the entire time and go, seditionist, traitor, misinformation spreader, killer. That's what I'd call them. I'd use the right words. We don't use the right words to discuss these people these days. Republicans are all traitors. That includes Cheney and Romney. Why? Because they stay in the party of traitors. So you're a traitor. As we take down a Robert E. Lee statue, the Confederacy lasted five years. The statue lasted 131. What's that about? Oh, if I were president, Confederate flags would be outlawed. Federally outlawed. They were the losing side of a war against the United States. You don't get to fly the flag of the loser under freedom. Sorry. Nope. No Confederate flag in the country. I'd look at it like a swastika. No swastikas either. They don't let them happen in Germany. I wouldn't let them happen here. You'll take away my freedom to have a swastika? You're damn right I would. And a Confederate flag, because that's not the American flag. You cannot love both. You can't love the Confederacy. You can't love the Confederate flag and claim to love the American flag. You can't. And you can't love a Nazi symbol, Madison Cawthorn, and claim to be an American that loves the American flag. And maybe you say you can, but I'm telling you you can't. And if I were president or the governor, I'd make sure that you were outlawed. Because you're a cancer and a plague. Madison Cawthorn's a plague. A little blonde Aryan plague. Blech. Blech. I hear that the sympathizers of the January 6th rioters are going to go hold a protest in Washington, D.C. Great. Round them all up and throw them in jail for sedition. Not treason, sedition. Yep, absolutely. But we won't, and that's why they're flourishing. It's why we're all depressed, and it's why the bad are winning. They're weeds, and we won't use weed killer. Although we will use horse dewormer. <laughs> and sheep dewormer. Well, what weed killer are you talking about, Carell? Knowledge, truth, justice, righteousness, the rule of law. Oh, if I were running for governor, 
every white officer accused of any kind of anything against a minority would simply be dismissed. Well, you wouldn't give them a hearing? No, not anymore. The hearings we've had, it's time to weed out the police force. Just completely weed them out. Any complaints against you that are justified? Justified complaints, not any complaint. But, you know, there's video of you grabbing someone, knocking someone down, doing whatever. You're out. No second chances. You're gone. It's not brain surgery. You know? Why do I hear something? Computer, stop all music. I don't know why I hear anything. I shouldn't hear a thing. I live in a smart home. I still hear it. Computer, stop the music on Sonos. Oh, she's pissing me off. See? Now it's stopped. You have to be specific. Ugh. Well, I guess I'll go. It's Wednesday. I'm in my happy place. I, as far as I know, I don't have cancer. Yay. I still have polycythemia, but we'll find out why and, and make it go away. Um, as for all of my friends being depressed, I am too. I'm living in filth. My maid won't get a vaccine. And I'm cleaning my own house, but you know what I mean. Ugh. And she's probably going to drop dead. The poor thing. She's overworked. She's obese. Hispanic won't get him shot because her Mexican radio told her not to. Idiots. Just idiots. Poor, misguided idiots. So, I hope you... I hope you... I hope you're able to cope. Yeah. That's really what I hope. I hope you're able to cope. That... I know, you know, and I know that it's bad, but I hope you're able to somehow cope through it all uh, because we're going to have to. Happiness is going to be in short supply for a while, but, you know, it's there and just revel in it when you have it. I do every day, like right now, sitting here with Ember right up next to me. That's just joyous and wonderful. I went to dim sum at Chef Kenny's for lunch. That's just joyous and wonderful. And I'm so blessed to have that resource, to have the funds to be able to do it. Uh, just not often, but still, I'm so blessed to be able to go there, to have a motorcycle to drive over there. I am, I am so blessed to be able to go to lunch. I am so blessed to be here in my condo, which is now worth $221,000, and I paid one hundred and sixty for it. So I'm very blessed. You know, so we find the happiness and the blessing. So I hope you do too. I am Corel. You be who you want to be. So don't hurt anybody. I'll be back on Friday. Uh, and in the meantime, don't forget the Patreon subscribers that I love you, love you, love you. And if you want to become one, it's patreon.com forward slash Corel, K-A-R-E-L. If you have subscribed to me on YouTube or Twitter or uh, Instagram, I love you. If you have not, why haven't you? Can you please help me get my social media numbers up? Follow me on Instagram at really Corel. Follow me on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash really Carell. Subscribe. Please help me get those numbers up. And my website's a thing of beauty. Have you seen it recently? Reallycorel.com. Have you downloaded the dedicated Corel Cast app? Come on, let's get with the program. Come on, you can do it. All right, until tomorrow, I am Corel, or until Friday, I am Corel. You be who you want to be. Let's not disturb Ember because, after all, she is a sleeping beauty. <laughs>